channelstv.com has more information for you and on youtube.com slash channels web you can watch our videos you can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the channels tv app for android ios and windows devices from their respective stores besides giving you access to news updates on the go the channels tv and channels 24 app has an eyewitness feature with which you can share pictures and videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. And we do have uh, some images that you sent in. We begin with, well, we will take those pictures a lot later. But the last has not been heard of the detention of over 100 IPOP women who were recently acquitted by High Court in Oweri last week after being detained and remanded in prison for four days by the Imo State Police Command. Speaking through their lawyer in an exclusive interview with Channel Television, the women say they're filing a fresh suit against the Nigerian government for infringement of their human rights. The women are also demanding the whereabouts of their leader, Namdi Kanu. Where we are going, we are going before the judiciary to take advantages of the laws and the rights guaranteed to Nigerian citizens. You just don't mess with their rights and expect them to go home without seeking some recompense. So there must be some compensation and it must come with public apology. The demand is that they, not, they, they have to pay for the damages they have caused to us. They humiliated us. They subjected us to, to they, they treated us like animals. In fact, in modern world, animals are not treated that way because before you have an animal, you have to look for a pink, you keep it, look, provide the necessary food and vaccination for animals. Those things were not given to us. So they subjected us even worse than animals. They have to pay for it. They just they really have to pay for it, honestly. I've lost my tongue, I can't talk much. To politics now, the All Progressives Congress in Imo State has won all 27 chairmanship positions in the just-concluded local government elections in the state. The chairman of the Imo State electoral body, ECEC, Ethelbert Ibebuchi, who announced the results, says apart from the 27 chairmanship seats, the party also won 636 councillorship seats out of the 645 wards in the state. In the 27 local government, the candidates of APC won all. <laughs> and for the position of councillorship, APC won 636 councillorship. 636 councillorship. Accord Party won one. Review Party won one. People's Redemption Party won one. And uh, Kowa, uh, Kowa Party won one. And four walls we are stood down because of some uh, uh, issues and some irregularities, irregularities observed. The two security guards who returned a missing bag found at the multi-level story car park at the Muslim Mohammed International Airport in Lagos have said the act is a call in their line of duty. Achi Daniel and Francis Emepiaku have been described as a breed that shows that there is hope for the country. Our correspondent Bukola Jo Kitumbi in this next report examines the reactions that have greeted the action of the two men and its implications for the country's image. This is the letter written by Dr. Banjo Yigbami commending the act of two security officials that manned a floor at this multi level car park at the Muritala Mohammed International Airport on the 18th of August 2018. Do the second presentation, we have two of them going in. The As officials of Allergen Security, the employer of both men, Police gathered to the celebrate the duel, Dr. Yigbami recounts why he wrote this letter in the first place. If you don't take money, I can give you. What is mother? So I sat down that night and started writing. It was just to let people know that Nigeria is not as bad as it is. 
Mr. Archie Daniel is the junior security personnel who found and returned the bag containing dollars, jewelry, and other documents. A native of Delta State and a widower with four children, he believes honesty would indeed take anyone far. I can't do it because long I work in Federal Palace, work in Black Diamond, I work in many places of which even when I was in Black Diamond, they gave me award, one of the best workers, which I cherish enough. They say good name is much better than riches, and they are key to it. I know the family I came from. His supervisor, Francis Emekwako, says their action is a call in the line of duty. But it's my primary assignment as a security to find any valuables and return it to protect life and properties, and um, that is my primary duty. So the only thing motivate me that that is me. Uh, I am content with whatever I have. So. It's, I like doing it. It's not the first time. And the security company is glad that these men have shown such integrity. An example of what we can do as a people. Nothing or no can change our country but ourselves. It doesn't matter at what level. Today, what may seem inconsequential in terms of defining sphere of influence has caught global attention. For the duo, honor has come for their act of honesty and integrity, but for the airport authority, it's the story of a changing nation. We've had too many stories in the past of things going wrongly in this nation, but this is to assure everybody that there is still hope. There is good in this nation. A few people have displayed, these two gentlemen have displayed integrity and character and good upbringing. So this is a message too to parents. Honesty is described as a facet of moral character that connotes positive and virtuous attributes and many Nigerians say they're glad that despite the rot in the society, there are men like Archie and Francis bearing the torch of hope. Bukola Joe Okitumbi, Channels Television News. Let's talk about this some more now. I've been joined on the News at 10 by the Director General, National Orientation Agency, Dr. Garba Bari. He's in our studios in Abuja. Dr. Bari, thank you for joining us on the News at 10 tonight. Uh, at this point, everyone should be proud to be a Nigerian. I mean, the men, uh, the man whose money was returned, uh, shown the spotlight on these two security guards. Does this one act really help put Nigeria in good light, uh, away from the negative narrative? Uh, uh, thank you very much. I, I think this kind of things have been happening uh, all about the, all over the country, and um, it is part of the narratives that we as Nigerians must always state. Uh, it is not always a negative story, a bad story about our country. Uh, these are values that are, are integral to our culture, to our religions. Now, of course, these are values that we expect all families to inculcate into their children. These are values that we, that we expect our education system should also encourage and they emphasize. Uh, it is quite uh, pleasing that uh, such, such uh, uh, exemplary conduct uh, are being exhibited by ordinary citizens, majority of whom are actually what, to, uh, what we can say um, represent the, the true Nigerian spirit, the, the true Nigerian values, the true Nigerian culture. Um, we in the National Orientation Agency always look at this kind of situation with a lot of uh, satisfaction because we know that uh, on many occasions we have had reason to recognize people of integrity, people who have shown uh, uh, courage integrity, honesty in the discharge of their duties. Many of such people actually, many, and in fact majority, are the people that we can refer to as the ordinary Nigerian. And I think this ordinariness, in the, in, 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 as, as we have seen in these two security uh, personnel, uh, cuts across the broad spectrum of the Nigerian demography. Mm. Perhaps our elites and people who are charged with the responsibility for public office will be 
showing this kind of candor, this kind of exemplary conduct, this kind of selflessness, uh, this kind of honesty, uh, the, the country will be better for it. And Dr. Graba, do you think these values are diminishing? I mean, the way we're celebrating these two individuals, and we've celebrated others in the past, do you think that these values are diminishing? Is that why they have to be you know, celebrated so much when they happen? I have a, very, I have a strong feeling that, the, that these values are actually diminishing. They are actually diminishing. That is why whenever we find such kind of uh, isolated but uh, uh, encouraging exemplary cases, we celebrate them. In, in the past, the values of honesty and the integrity are actually things that define individuals, that define families, that define communities. But perhaps because of the changing dynamics and because of the era in which we are living and because of the clash in so many cultures and traditions, some of these values are actually fading. And uh, we must encourage them. We must take them back from the roots. And that is why we in the National Orientation Agency are insisting that uh, we must catch our younger people in the schools, you know, through civic education and, of course, uh, through internalizing the messages that are ingrained in our national, in, in, in our national anthem, you know, doing this. Sorry, uh, with honesty, Dr. Gaba. faith, okay, you know, and integrity. Uh, Dr. Barry, how how are you? How 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 is the National Orientation Agency uh, inculcating these values in, in people? We are doing them in 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 many facets. First, you remember that uh, one of these is the, is the, 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 the civic, civic Responsibility Award that are being given to encourage people to see that it pays to be of character and to, be, and to exhibit high level of integrity and honesty. Even people in high places are actually being accorded this kind of honor so that it will serve as, um, as an example to others to copy. Remember in 2014 uh, or thereabout, uh, the current Minister of Works, who was then Governor of Lagos State, was, uh, uh, was given the uh, Civic Responsibility Award for insisting that a certain army uh, pass, uh, officer who was mm. going contrary to the BRT rule insisting that he had to go back and obey the rules. And these are kind of contacts that we expect to see in all of our public offices. Indeed. Now, our school system, okay. the, the National Orientation Agency had tried and had succeeded in bringing back the teaching of uh, civics yeah. uh, to schools. And of course, these are issues that uh, uh, will go a very long way in bringing up our younger children. Many of our campaigns now, Rather than restricting them on just the news media and, uh, and the pages of the newspapers and the television screens, we take them to the schools. Because Doctor, this is where actually you, you, the, the, the matters actually need, 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 need to be started. And certainly, certainly, Doctor. Need to be inculcated. We certainly, Dr. Garba Barry, we, we really do appreciate your uh, making time for us tonight to be on the News at 10. And thank you for speaking with us. Uh, the Director General, National Orientation Agency, Dr. Garba Abari. When the News of 10 returns, rice farmers in Adamawa State cry out for help after flood washes their farmlands away. That's in our community report. Do join us again.